Hello saxophone players and welcome to the London Saxophone School. My name is Martino Skovakriki. Today I'm showing you the positions for the altissimo register. So we have high G, we have an octave key and that's normal. Um, one, three, four, five, and the last one here uh, out of the trio here. Then we have A, it's two, three, four, five, and six. There's something you can do on this A. If it's too sharp, bring it down by pressing the B flat key. Then we have B, high B. We have first um, palm key, three, and then these two together, so second and third out of the trio here together. Then high C, it's just two palm keys, one and two. And then high D, it's one, two and three, plus the first one here out of the trio, it's high D. Now let's look at the sharps uh, and flats. We have G sharp, one, two, three, four, so exactly the same as G, plus the one and the middle here, out of the, out of the trio. B flat, same as A, two, three, four, five, and six, plus the D key, the, the first palm key. Then we have C sharp, one, two palm keys, plus the first one here out of the trio, basically like a high E. So those are the notes in the altissimo register. Have fun, practice, because it, it takes a while to get the altissimo register. But, and remember also that the, the, the positions that I'm using are the ones that I prefer, basically. Um, you can get a lot of fingering charts for altissimos, and remember they also, the position itself changes from saxophone to saxophone, and so if you're playing tenor, alto, soprano, whatever, they can change. Some of them can work better on others, so what, what's, what works for me might not work for you, but just give it a try and, and see how you feel. So look forward to seeing you again in the next video.